As far as pickup trucks go, Tesla's Cybertruck is anything but conventional. With a design that looks more like a futuristic space vehicle than a truck, it's set to be one of the first totally electric pickup trucks to ever hit the market. And its specs make it seem like it's bound to be a stiff competition for its gas-powered counterparts. So we're going to check out all the fascinating things about Tesla's Cybertruck on this episode of Super Freaky Science. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button to stay updated on all of our videos. Number 10, three engines, three prices. Rather than just one standard configuration, the Tesla Cybertruck stands apart for having three different classes of vehicle that come at three different price points. What makes each configuration unique is that each has a different number of engines, with the cheapest having one, the mid-tier having two, and the most expensive having three. Regarding price, the single motor rendition is set to go at an impressively low price of just $39,000, while the dual motor will go for $49,900 and the tri-motor for $69,900. And while all-wheel drive is set to come standard on all but the single motor version, each additional motor means quicker acceleration, longer driving range, and greater towing capacity. To top this off, for an additional $10,600, you can choose to have your Tesla be completely self-driving. And while this technology currently requires active driver supervision, it's hoped that in the near future, this expensive addition can allow the car to safely drive autonomously. Number 9. Speed Machine Although pickup trucks aren't typically known for being extremely quick, the Tesla Cybertruck stands apart for having speed and acceleration that is impressively high for an electric vehicle. In particular, its three engine variation is a cut above the rest, with it having the ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.9 seconds, while having a max speed of 210 km per hour. However, the other variations are not far behind, with the second fastest coming in with an ability to accelerate from 0 to 100 in 4.5 seconds, with a max speed of 195 km per hour, and the cheapest model being able to go from 0 to 100 in 6.5 seconds with a max speed of 180 km per hour. As a result, no matter which vehicle you buy, you can be sure that it won't bog you down when zipping along the freeway. Number 8. Load Lugger A pickup truck wouldn't be a pickup truck without its ability to lug large loads for long distances, and the Tesla Cybertruck is no exception. That's because in addition to being able to carry 1600 kilograms in its 2 meter long truck bed, the single motor rendition will be able to pull about 3400 kilograms, the double motor rendition just north of 4500 kilograms, and the triple motor an impressive 6350 kilograms. And best of all, when you consider that popular all alternatives such as the Ram 1500 can only tow about 2,900 kilograms and the ever popular Ford F-150 can only tow a maximum of 3,175 kilograms, it's clear that even the most basic Tesla will be able to outclass its competition. Number 7. Its Range Typically speaking, one of the biggest factors that turns people away from buying an electric car is the vehicle's range. After all, given that electric cars cannot be refueled at a gas station, it would likely be pretty annoying to have to find a way to charge an electric car in the middle of nowhere. However, the Tesla Cybertruck skirts around this problem by offering an excellent range per charge. In essence, the first model is expected to have a range of at least 400 kilometers, the second range of at least 480 kilometers, and the third an impressive minimum of 800 kilometers. When you further consider that each model will come with a 250 kilowatt charging cable that can be refueled at any one of Tesla's growing number of supercharging stations, it's clear that the Cybertruck will have no issue completing long road trips. Number 6. Order Now If the Tesla Cybertruck is the vehicle for you, then you're in luck, because it turns out that you can customize and order your own today. That's because despite the fact that these trucks will likely not enter production until late 2021, the option to pre-order is available on Tesla's website, with the cost of doing so only being a $150 totally refundable order prepayment. Yet given the current COVID-19 outbreak, many believe that this date may be pushed back by more than a year. Regardless, we're confident that Tesla's impeccable team will likely be able to ship these out sooner rather than later. 
Number five, simplicity. While many high-tech vehicles have a vast array of interior features to beef up the driving experience, the Tesla Cybertruck stands apart for having an interior that is strikingly simple. That's because the inside of the car has up to six seats, a futuristic race car-like steering wheel, and a large 43 centimeter touchscreen display. All the seats also have very sharp lines and angles, making the car's inside look just as futuristic as it is outside. And while almost everything else about its interior is still under wraps, it's pretty clear that it'll be both very simple and stylish. Number four, customized suspension. While most cars require a visit to the mechanic in order to tinker with the suspension, the Tesla Cybertruck stands apart in this as well. This is because you'll be able to adjust this on command. That's because all Cybertrucks come with an adjustable air suspension that can be raised or lowered on the fly to provide up to 16 inches of ground clearance. When you further consider that the truck also has a 35 degree approach and 28 degree departure angle, it becomes clear that the Cybertruck has the potential to be used both on and off road. Interestingly enough, perhaps against most people's expectations, Elon Musk directly commented on the Cybertruck's off road capabilities as well, saying in a tweet that, quote, We are working on increasing dynamic air suspension travel for better off roading. Needs to kick butt in Baja. End quote. We suppose that even Elon himself will likely do his fair share of adventuring in this impressive vehicle. Number three, the backup plan. Simply put, the Cybertruck is a little bit strange. After all, the exterior design is nothing like any mass-produced cars that are currently on the market. And while Musk has said that he intended for the Cybertruck to look like a quote, futuristic battle tank, he's admitted that the design may not translate to many orders. As a result, Musk has said that quote, if it turns out nobody wants to buy a weird looking truck, we'll build the normal truck no problem. There are lots of normal trucks out there that look pretty much the same. You can hardly tell the difference. And sure, we could just do some copycat truck. That's easy. So that's our fallback strategy." End quote. However, considering that pre-orders have already surpassed 700,000 as of late May, so long as most of them translate into orders paid in full, then this backup plan will likely remain as just a backup plan. Number two, movie inspiration. While the majority of car designs are inspired by, well, other more successful cars, the Cybertruck stands apart for drawing its inspiration from a completely different source. According to Elon Musk, quote, it was amazing as a little kid in South Africa to watch James Bond in The Spy Who Loved Me drive his Lotus Esprit off a pier press a button and have it transform into a submarine underwater. I was disappointed to learn that it can't actually transform. What I'm going to do is upgrade it with the Tesla electric powertrain and try to make it transform for real." End quote. Thus, with James Bond in the back of his mind, he made this incredible truck. However, we just hope that Elon Musk makes it so impressive that Bond himself will want to drive it. Number 1. Bulletproof while this truck may or may not meet the standards of one James Bond, the Cybertruck is certainly capable of standing up against some serious firepower. That's because the truck's exoskeleton is made from 30 time cold rolled stainless steel and is designed to withstand 9mm ammunition, which is the type of ammo commonly used in handguns and machine guns. Beyond bullets, the car can also stand its ground against handheld weapons, which became evident when Musk had design chief Franz von Holzhausen hit the side of the truck with a sledgehammer during an on-stage demonstration. So while the truck would definitely sustain some damage if hit by a heavy-duty firearm, it certainly offers some pretty solid protection, and hopefully you won't need that. Thanks for tuning in to this installment of Super Freaky Science. We hope you enjoyed it, and let us know what you think about the controversial design of the Cybertruck in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.